This is round 13 of Blackstone Fortress. Here's our anxiety-inducing shuffle. Okay, we're going to split it off to three and do like a little wee shuffle, and we've probably gotten it back into the same exact order. Here's another one. Three. And then we're going to combine it. And we're going to split it off into twos and mix up the twos and then cut the deck by three. There. That's 100% shuffled. Taddeus. Amelin, this is different. One, Pius, Janus, and two. Okay, well, Janus always does a gambit because it's free. He got a critical. I believe that means like he can do like literally whatever he wants, but I'm not going to do anything. So he's supposed to move clo before the closest hostile. So I'll put him in front of one. So that's kind of really front loaded the turn order, which is fine by me. And then I'm going to do some destiny dice rolls. There's some destiny dice. Oh no. Three sixes, which I have to ignore. And one and a three. So that's all we got there. That's too bad. The good news is that... No, there is no good news, actually. Well, the good news is that there's no hostiles on the board right now. So this was for who's ever at the top there. Taddeus. Taddeus is not a very important player right now because he's over here in the top left of the screen. He's at the maglev chamber already. He's, he's ready to go. He's holding the door open. Uh, this is Janus. 1-1-1. One, one, one. Cool. Great. Not a problem. I mean, it really isn't because... Oh, this is Amelin, so she only rolls two dice. Six and a five. And then uh, Pius. Four, three, four. Taddeus is first. You know, he could he could dart back out of the maglev. There's nothing saying he can't. And so he could go one, two for his four. And then with his five, he can search here for a discovery. Uh, and that means that he gets to draw a discovery card from the deck, which is Archaeotech of 1. So I'll add that to there, a little stack. And uh, then he's still got his 6, so I'll spin that to get him back into the maglev chamber. 1, 2. Easy. Now, he might need to move further back into the chamber, because now I'm, I'm remembering the last time I did this, I had, I think it was Taddeus, sitting up at the top, just sitting there and clogging up the entrance. So, I don't know, maybe I should spend this, but maybe not. No, no, that's silly. Okay, Amelin. So she's got a move of three, so, and, and I guess, I guess I should, um, I don't know. Uh, just I guess I'll just try to remember that I've explored this. She's a fast mover, this one, Amelin. So she's got a 5 and a 6, so spend her 5 and her 6 on 2 moves. She'll go, yeah, she'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Remember how I said, Tad, no, she can do this. Uh, they're allowed to coexist on one, on one square. Now they're clogging up. So I'm going to spend this stupid 1 on a Destiny die to move Taddeus to the back of the elevator. She'll stay there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I think she's allowed. Well, either way, someone spins a destiny die to shuffle everyone into the maglev. I'm pretty sure I'm overthinking the maglev chamber because I, I can't believe that that was supposed to be a key, a key mechanic of the game of, of how to fit everyone into the maglev chamber. One, one, one for Janus. So he's going to spend all of his ones. He moves at a pace of two hexes per turn, so that's six hexes total. 
I guess, how can he, can he get there from here? One, two, three, four, five, six. He's really close to the, the maglev chamber then. He could spend this three to get into the maglev chamber. Let's do that, why not? I mean, this could, we could be finishing up the game right now. One, two, three. He moves, no wait, he only moves two. So now they're clogging up the entrance way of the maglev chamber. And now it's Pius Vorn, three, four, and a four. She moves at a pace of three. There is this, this thing to search. And I really kind of want, oh wait, is it? Is it her turn? No, it is not her turn. It is the the um Urghouls is who that is. So they need to roll for reinforcements. They got a 14, no reinforcements arrive. And now Pius does get to go. She is going to move one, two into this square. She's going to spend so that was one die. She's going to spend her other die for up a four up to search. So she gets a discovery card. The discovery card that she has drawn is more Archaeotech. And then we get, have one more die that she can spend. And so she'll move three towards the Maglev chamber. One, two, three. So she is like literally one activation away, but unfortunately that is one activation we do not have. Are there reinforcements? Three. I believe that means that the Negavolts are getting reinforcements. A low number like that? That sounds like a reinforcement to me. Three on a large creature gets one reinforcement. And I believe the Negavolt are large. Yes, they are. They're large. Okay, so a Negavolt cultist appears on the board really, really close to Pius Vorn, who has one Grievous Wound. This could be bad. Let's roll to find out what this Negavolt cultist is doing for. Four on their action chart is that they charge at their target. So that's one there. And then it's going to make an attack with an electric goad. And misses. Can you see that? It's a miss? Yep, that's a miss. But, let's see, it ignores cover, no defense roll. Oh, wow. Wow, that's really good that that was a miss. That's all I've got to say about that. Okay, cool. Great. Wonderful. Blackstone, right? Because everyone's gone? Yeah. Blackstone event, Blackstone fortress event, 14. Feels like... Feels like a, an event that I've seen before. Yes, that's the same thing. That's the escape chamber. It's already appeared. It's been rolled like three times this, this combat. So there is no effect. I'm going to shuffle the cards. Because this might be the, f the, final, the final thing. So this three. Mix them up. Mix them up. Three. Mix them up. Uh, two, and let's do those two to mix it up even more, and then put them back on top of each other, and then cut the deck. Just sort of do that. Okay, so, um, I, I'm, I'm feeling like this is probably the last, the last thing. So I guess we'll look really quick. So we got Janus, P uh, Pius, okay, there we go. Yeah, so, um, we'll roll Destiny die only. So I think the sixes go away. So I'm just going to play off of the... Oops, whatever that was. I'm just going to play off the Destiny die for a minute. Janus does nothing. And then Pius goes. She'll spend the one, two, and three to move whatever she needs to move into the Maglev chamber. And she's there. And 
the rest of the initiative deck doesn't matter, because that's that round. They're in the maglev chamber, they fly away into the depths of the Blackstone Fortress. Where to? Well, we kind of already know, because we looked, we looked at this exploration deck, and we know that there's nothing but combat left, but... Here we go, the, the final two cards. Um, that's where we'll go to next. Another combat. So when you come back here for the next part, the board will be completely different. There will be new threats and hopefully more success. Thanks for watching.